Okay, there we go. You ever meet someone half her age and wonder how they made it this far? Give it up for Chris. Give it up for Chris. There we go. All right. I was uh, at my doctor's office recently in the waiting room. They had one of those drug advertisements, you know, bright flowery wall hangings. It asked a simple question. What's keeping you from what you love? And I can only think of one answer. Laws? <laughs> and so I see my doctor. And I tell the doctor, I've given up quit smoking cigarettes. She says, that's great. The best years of your life are ahead of you. Funny man that I am, I say, yep. Yeah. All three of them, still staring at my chart without missing a beat, she says, maybe. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, I realized through all the years of illness and injury, you know, medicine's a practice, so they can be wrong. And I, I love getting a new doctor. And, you know, they come in and they grab my chart and they start the small talk. They go, so you got any va uh, vacation plans uh, in the immediate future? <laughs> you know, so you can get out there and live your life. <laughs> and, you know, I get it. Um, for the last five years, I've had six months to live. I've been declared dead twice. So doctors, not always right. <laughs> uh, and, you know, but it is hard to ask for a second opinion when you're in a coma. <laughs> you know, and, and when your partner asks you 10 times in an hour, are you okay? You do start to wonder. And I'm not adverse, you know, to trying things to extend my life, you know, blood of a virgin, you know, eye of Newt, maybe even kale. <laughs> And, and I, I do find it curious, though, that you pay more for natural, organic food than you do with food that's been, like, tampered with, that preservatives have been added. You know, you pay less for those. It's like the food corporations have given you a discount for being a part of the chemical tribe. <laughs> and, you know, uh, you also have to wonder, it, it, the, 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 the food companies pay all this money to get organics added to their product, you know, even though all they have, you know, what they do is they change the law so that it's accepted. Organics, you only have to be like 60%. And they get the congressmen to change laws. So that tells me one thing, and that's congressmen are cheaper than manure. But if you get a truckload of them, they're both about worth the same thing. I, uh... I, uh, my, I, I, was, I was seeing my doctor and, and she looked at me and she goes, you know, you got to cut back on the sweets, the cookies. Uh, saying, she said, sugar, just as addictive as cocaine. And, you know, I got to believe her, you know, have, have you fucking tried Oreos? Okay, it's cookie, goo, and more cookie. Although I think cocaine would be easier to snort. <laughs> um, pe people have asked me, you know, they, they, they ask me once they find out my backstory and they go, what's it like, you know, to be dead? And I, I tell them, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. It's, it's, it's difficult because at the time, you know, I was, I was dead. <laughs> you know, that point where everything stops and you cease to be makes it difficult to judge shit down. But I did find a note that said I need to quit doing my own stunt work. <laughs> and, and, oh, they took the stand. Oh, there we go. Here it is. Uh, <laughs> I'll leave on this. You know, uh, the first time you die and you're brought back, people go, oh, it's a miracle. And the second time it happens, you know, it introduces a little bit of skepticism. You know, people go, well, maybe they didn't check the equipment properly. Maybe the doctor didn't wait long enough. When it happens again, they're just going to go, he's just doing it for the fucking attention. <laughs> and Dennis, thank you. Everybody give it up for 
Dennis Chris. Give it up for.